So if you're at the point where you're thinking about starting to turn your KDP book into an actual business, then one of the things that you'll want to consider is getting a website. And of course, before you even take the next step of getting your website host like Shopify, you're going to need that domain name in place. So when I published my first book, 24 Shades of Business back in 2018, I honestly thought all I was going to be publishing was that one book. I never knew I was going to be building a whole brand. I never thought about a name. When I published that book, 24 Shades of Business, that is the name that God gave me for the book. So I never even thought about anything past that. So originally I was thinking that if I ever got a website, I guess I would call the website 24 Shades of Business. That's how I was thinking. But then after I started doing more research, I was like, no, I want to actually brand myself because I am so much more than just an author. Because as you can see on my website, I do offer books and I have the link to my books here. I also have the link to my books on Amazon set up as well. But then I also have signature programs and then I also offer um, coaching. So I knew I wanted to make myself the brand, right? So as you can see on the website, and I talk about publishing and marketing your book like the business of your book. That all came after I started publishing books, right? Because I started gaining experience and then people started asking me, what, um, you know, how do you publish? What do you do? So then that's when I started creating more things. Even gonna be doing a community soon, encouraging women to strengthen their relationship with Christ. So it's just a host of things. So it's always good to brand yourself. But if you're just starting with one book, that's perfectly fine. You can still go ahead and start branding yourself and build. So... With that being said, you're going to want to start thinking about what your name is going to be. So let's head over to Namecheap and take a look at some of the examples. And of course, I'll leave the link that you can sign up for Namecheap in my description so it'll be easy for you to find it. And one of the reasons that I personally love Namecheap is because, like the name says, it is a cheap name. So it does not cost an arm and a leg to nail down your domain. In fact, because they are so reasonably priced, I actually get way more domains than I probably ever need to. Every time I think of an idea, I be like, oh my God, let me go search and see if that name is available. Look, I can be sitting relaxing and I might hear a name like coloring all day. And I be like, let me see if that name is available. I be like, girl, that's available. And then I go ahead and add it to cart. But listen, I'm just saying that just to demonstrate how reasonably priced it is. And so don't feel like, when it comes to business, you have to pay so much money to get things done. All right, so here's what you would do. If you're gonna search for a company name like my coloring book company, entrepreneurscolor2.com, then you would just go ahead and start typing that domain name in here and you would see if it's available. And as you can see, entrepreneurscolor2.com is taken, which is why you don't see it available as an option. But let's say you want to brand yourself. You can say something like, I am Nicole Lee. And then as you can see, it gives you a check mark and it says, I am Nicole Lee dot com is available if you're new and have never used namecheap before you can actually get this domain for five dollars and 98 cent when you use the code newcom 598 so new customers get it for um the promo code so once you decide on your name you would simply go ahead and click on add to cart for that name once you click on add to cart, it's going to give you some more things that you can possibly buy. I have never actually gotten any of these things, but if that's something you're interested in, feel free to add any of those to cart. If for some reason you just don't want to do .com or if .com is not available when you try, you can try switching up the name um, to maybe, maybe NicoleLeeOfficial.com, something like that. Or you could even go ahead and go with IamNicoleLee.org. You know, so you, you have some options that you can choose from. If you have a store, you may want to do IamNicoleLee.store. And then you're going to just scroll down and you're going to click on the checkout page. And then on the checkout page, you'll see where the domain registration, it gives you an option to get it for a year, which is $10.28. And it even gives you the option if you wanted to go ahead and purchase for two years or if you wanted to go ahead and purchase for five years up front. And then as you can see, they offer domain privacy. Now, it's automatically enabled. And the reason that I love the domain privacy, because as you can see, when you click on it, it just says that you get privacy protection that hides your personal info from the public. So this is always good because 
You don't want your personal information just sitting out there. And you can avoid spam with people trying to get your website sending you stuff that you ain't even signed up for. So I do suggest leaving that part enabled. And then as you're scrolling down, these are some of the offers that it offered you on the other page. So like I said, if you're interested in any of those, you can click on them and then go ahead and click on confirm order to get your domain. Once you click on confirm order, it is now going to ask you to log into your account or to create an account. So under the create your account section, you're going to go ahead and enter in your username. Then you're going to enter your password, confirm your password, you know, enter your personal information, first, last name, and email address, and then click on create account and continue once you click on create account and continue then you can go ahead and put in your promo code from the other page and click on apply so that that price can change okay then you're just going to confirm your order and go ahead and check out once you check out you'll have your account now so you can see any of your expired um domains whenever you're coming close to that you'll get a pop-up and then you can see all of your active domains listed in the middle of the page but that is how you would create your domain for namecheap all right now thank you so much for liking and subscribing i hope it was helpful and until next time bye bye